Hi, everybody. I've had a lot of people ask about how to get on CK12 and how to do these assignments that I have given to you. So I just wanted to do a really quick short video to try to answer a lot of the questions I've been getting. So I think you're going to like CK12. This is a super cool website. It lets you kind of learn at your own pace and use some various resources to help you learn certain concepts. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now I'm on Anne's account so we can see it from a student. And so you should have this forces assignment um, on your dashboard. So right now I'm on the CK12 dashboard. Once you have joined the class and you have logged in, you, if you go to the dashboard, it's going to have your latest assignment. So this is the assignment that's going to be due. I bumped up the due date to tomorrow just in case some of us struggled a little bit. So no worries. And so in this assignment, we actually have two concepts to work on, okay? The concepts are combining forces and elastic force. So we're gonna have two different, basically, topics in this assignment. So to get started, I'm just going to click on the first one right here, okay, combining forces. And it's going to take me to this um, assignment, okay? And so up here, you can see this is currently assigned to you, and then you have a turn button, in button. We're not going to turn it in yet until we do some practicing. So actually, the practice that you do, I'm able to see, and that's what your participation grade will be based on, okay? So here it says additional ways to learn. OK, and what you probably need to do, well, actually, not probably what you need to do first is you need to make sure that you are reading. OK, and doing some of these activities here before you practice that, because I don't expect you to know any of these answers to the practice questions until you've actually learned the content. So down here, the most important thing to do when you have these assignments is to do the reading first. So let me kind of walk you through what kind of things they have available to you to learn this topic. Everybody needs to do the reading section, okay, because this is where you're going to get the topic that I want you to learn about and practice on, okay? And so you're going to click on reading first, and it's going to bring you to a reading assignment. And if you scroll down, it's got all these nice pictures, and even embedded in the reading, you have videos, okay? And so this is going to be where you get the, the information from to do those practice questions. Down at the bottom, we have a summary that just basically gives you the, the gist of what you talked about up here, okay, what you read about and watch videos about up there. And then you have review questions. I'm not expecting you to do these review questions for me. Those are really just for you. Before you start practicing in your mind, can you answer these questions? If you can't, you probably need to go back up here and reread. You can X out of that. And then you can go back to these additional ways to learn. So here's the real world connection. This tells you some ways that this topic relates to the real world. And you've got videos, you've got um, some ways to apply it. Again, all of these things are just for you, okay? Here, what I really like is we have these clicks. The clicks are these little interactive games that help you learn something, okay? And you can do challenges on this. OK, to help you with your practice questions, you can also watch other videos. And if you go down here to this button, it'll take you to more things. OK, and if you look at this, they've actually got some statistics. It says students score 64 percent or higher after studying this, 71 percent or higher after studying this. So it's up to you which one of these you do. The only one that you pretty much have to do is the reading right here because you're not going to know what uh, questions to answer, okay? So I actually had started practice on here for him just before I made this video to show you how to do this. So you go to keep practicing or you'll click practice and it will give you questions, okay? Now it will give you hints for the question. You'll you'll click on the answer, okay? So this one says when two forces act on an op op object in opposite directions, you calculate the net force by, and after I've read that, I'll know you subtract them. That's the right answer you'll go to the next one, okay? And let's see what happens if we get an answer wrong, because I have it set up to actually tell you if you got a wrong answer. So here it says, if, if opposing forces acting on an object are equal, the net force is, I'll say 20, just put in a random number. Okay, that was wrong, okay? And so I'm just gonna keep on trying. Okay, notice you have a few things down here at the bottom. Here it gives you a hint. OK, if you need a hint for a question, the scratch pad just gives you a place to do math if you need to. 
okay? You don't have to use it, but that just gives you a place to write and do math if you need to, okay? And then here says improve this question. That's just helping this uh, CK12 foundation uh, do better questions. You don't have to do anything like that, okay? Notice up here at the top it says skill level exploring. It moves you to different skill levels based on the question it is asking you. So I need you to make it all the way through, okay? If you need to stop and go back, you'll say stop for now, okay? And then it will take you back where you... Um, started when you're done okay now once you've done this concept you can go to the next concept because remember how many did we have we had two the second concept is elastic force and no we haven't talked at all about this i'm expecting you to do your reading and do some of these uh, other activities down here at the bottom to help you understand this concept and then you're going to do some practice okay everybody got it all right so this is how you do CK12, all right? This is where you see that assignment, okay? Uh, if you click those little three dots, it'll show you what two topics you have, okay? And this is really, um, it's important for you to read this. It's important for you to answer these questions, but this is for a participation grade this time. Now, some of these things will be on a quiz I'm going to put on Google Classroom on Friday, so you do need to pay attention to what you're doing, but the actual practice, if you're getting some of them wrong, don't panic. This is just to make sure we all know how to get into CK12. This is for you to practice this material at your own pace, okay? So these two topics, so you should have two practice sessions in here, um, will be due by tomorrow, okay? So good luck, and let me know if you need anything at all.